Good day, good people. Welcome, everybody. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Calm Lands by E.R. Shaba for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 4. We are here to bring you a setup video for a challenge that I am calling a Baker's Dozen. And if you don't know what a baker's dozen is, is it is 12 plus 1, which makes 13. Alright, well, we are in farm manager mode. This challenge can be single player or multiplayer. And you will start with a debt. And what I mean by that is here in farm manager mode for farming simulator 22 which i always forget about is you don't have a 250 dollar or 250 thousand dollar loan already created you have to create it yourself if you want to play like you did in fs19 so we are going to go ahead and go into the bank And we are going to borrow 250000 So there we have our debt of $250,000, which you are going to have to reduce that money towards the end of this challenge, but now we have created our debt. So we have a debt now of 250000 but you will be starting with some money towards the end of this setup video, but let's move forward. So the next thing you need to do is sell all this equipment. All right, we have sold all the equipment. Now we have over 2.2 .2 million dollars, which that's not all yours, of course. So again, uh, I apologize for recreating this video and releasing it again to YouTube, but I made an error and yeah, I should have not done it that way. All right, well, hey, at least by recreating uh, this uh, video, now we actually have crop in this field. So that is the other important part of this challenge that I wasn't uh, getting to happen in the first uh, release of this setup. So again, we are in farm manager mode and we had to create our debt so we already did that but now we're going to show you why we're also in farm manager mode and why you do not get to own this farm yard right here that you spawn in on that is because in farm manager mode and start from scratch as long as you don't own this land there is contracts available on that one field so you are able to do contracts but you cannot borrow the items you must own the items to do these contracts so the other thing is is there's four pallets up here uh, you may utilize those four pallets. But now, what we need to do, everybody, is we need to buy some property. So the property that you first need to buy is... You need to purchase plot 21 and plot 40. Plot 21 and 40 are for your future production point plots in this challenge. You will be placing one production point on 21 and one production point on 40. And you will see what those uh, two production points are here very soon. 
and then you need to purchase your first starting plot of land which you will be creating your farm on so you may choose plot 1 or plot 18 if you choose 1 or 18 you must sell the two sheds on those plots you also have the option of choosing 50, 51, or 52. For this video, we're going to do plot 18, and I'm going to show you plot 51. So we will be showing you plot 18 and 51 and what you need to do. So now, in order to do that and make it easier and help us get through this setup, is we're going to buy our equipment now. So the first thing you need to buy is a chainsaw. Then you need to buy yourself any medium sized tractor and you may customize it how you wish. So there we go, we're going to buy that tractor. Okay. Then you need to buy this mower. This is the mower I'd like everybody to start with, but you may. You may choose any other mower as long as it's an all platforms mower because this is an all platforms challenge, meaning only mods that are all platforms can be used. All right, so now we're going to jump up there because there's one other thing we need to purchase. So now we are up here at the store and for your property here at the store you also need to purchase one other item and that item is either a forklift or a skid steer but we're gonna move this out of the way we need this moved out of the way anyway so All right, we got that moved out of the way. Let's move our tractor out of the way here for a minute. That's good. Okay, let's buy a forklift or a skid steer, and it remains at the store here for your use. All right, let's move the forklift out of the way. All right, now that we've got that much done, we will drive over to plot 18 and show you what you need to do. If you were to choose either plot one or plot 18. So we'll see you over at plot 18. All right, welcome back everybody. Let's drive up here into plot 18. Now this is what you would do if you decide to start on plot one or 18. You need to sell the two sheds that are on the plot. So we will sell these two sheds. Now, what you need to do is you may place down a farmhouse. So we'll just put our farmhouse over here, like so. And then you can pick one shed. It don't matter what shed it is. It don't matter how expensive it is. So pick yourself one shed. We're just going to pick this one for right now. 
and put it down. Okay, so that is what you are allowed to start with here on this plot. Now, the other thing that you may do is you may decorate your farmyard. So if you choose, you may decorate your farmyard with trees or bushes or fences or other uh, kind of paint textures or even other decorative mods that we have been getting in the mod hub. So you can put down trash cans or junk cars or whatever, whatever you feel like. But you may decorate your farmyard if you so wish. You can also put up light poles. So, yeah, you may do that. Now, in order to show you, if you were to start on 50, 51, or 52, we are now going to sell these two buildings. Okay, so we have sold the two buildings, uh, the shed and the house, and we also have sold this plot of land. So, now... If we were to pretend that you chose plot 50, 51, or 52, you will do this. So we will see it over at 51, which we have purchased as an example. Alright, welcome back everybody. We, we are over here by plot 51, so this is what you will do if you purchase either 50, 51, or 52. You first need to get yourself a farmhouse of your choice. It doesn't matter which one. It can be a modded farmhouse as well. Place down your farmhouse like so. Then you need to pick a shed of your choice. And we'll just pick that same shed. And there we go. Okay. Now, the other thing that you can do is you may decorate again, like I said earlier, over there on plot 18. You may decorate this farm yard to your liking. So you may paint it. Like so. Uh, you may also put light poles up or add in some decorated trees, just a few of them, or fence lines, whatever you wish, or other objects from other decorative uh, packs in the mod hub. Okay, now the other option I'm giving you is you can also put down a fermenting silo in your farmyard. So you will go to productions and this fermenting silo I'm talking about is by Omatana and it's in the mod hub. It is this thing right here. So you will then purchase this and put it in your farmyard. So there you go. That is what you are, are allowed to start with. Now, let's go through the settings for this challenge. So, the settings for this challenge, your time scale is your choice. Economic develop difficulty, I recommend hard, but you may put it on normal. Traffic is on, or wait, Correction. Traffic is your choice. Seasonal growth, your choice. Days per month, your choice. Fixed visual month, your choice. Snow, your choice. Crop destruction is your choice. Periodic plowing must be on. 
field stone is your choice. Lime required must be on. Weeds is your choice. Dirt is your choice. Engine start is your choice. Stop and go, your choice. Trailer fill is your choice. Fuel usage must be high. And all AI worker settings is your choice. So that is for those settings. Now, the other thing you need to know is uh, productions are allowed. Mods, yes, you can use mods, but only all platform mods. So anybody on PC, you can't use PC only mods. Uh, DLCs are allowed. Money mods, such as a government sign, may not be used. Buy points. The only buy points allowed are the buy points that are on this map. And there is a couple of different buy points on this map. I suggest you watch farm tours of this map by your favorite content creators for Farming Simulator 22. Um, a seed, fertilizer, and lime points. Later, down this challenge, you may earn the money or have the money to uh, give you better access for seed, fertilizer, and lime. So you may buy a seed, fertilizer, and lime point and put it on your farmyard. But that is the only buy point you're allowed to put on your farmyard is a seed, fertilizer, or Line point. Um, let's see. Uh, what else? Additional loans. You can have a additional loan after you have paid off your debt that we have already created when we started this video. Leasing. Yes, you can lease items throughout this challenge, but they need to be returned daily. Contracts, like I explained, are available on this map, but you cannot borrow the equipment. You must own the equipment to do the contract. How much property can you own in this challenge? You can own any property on this map except for the spawn-in farm. So that is, again... You can own anything on this map except for you cannot own plot four. Plot four is off limits. Now, there is two stages to this challenge. Stage one is pay off your debt, buy and place a sugar mill on a production plot, buy and place a donut shop which <laughs> sorry excuse me sorry for saying donut shop but buy and place a confectionery which is a mod created by the map creator for this map and it is the production point that makes donuts and then produce one pallet of donuts so we will show you what you need to do for stage one and then stage two of this challenge is produce a baker's dozen produce 13 additional pallets of donuts so let's hop in the tractor here and we're going to drive over to one of our production plots and show you if you were uh, working through the challenge here and needed to uh, get your sugar mill and had the money we will show you where you can place your sugar mill then you can place your sugar mill either on your production plot of 21 or 40 it does not matter which one So we're over here at uh, plot 40. 
So the sugar mill is in production in factories. And the sugar mill will cost you $80,000 to earn. So you got to get have yourself $80,000 buy and place that. So you have completed now that step of stage one. Let's drive over to the other production plot and put down the confectionery, which I call the donut shop. All right, so we are over here at our other production plot. So let's put down the confectionery. So the confectionery is found in production in factories and it is clear at the end of the list here. This is the confectionery which is where your donuts are produced. So let's just place that right there. All right, so now we have completed stage one of the challenge and we need a pallet of donuts. So we will pretend that a pallet of donuts has spawned here. If you only get one pallet of donuts, then you only need 13 more pallets to complete stage two. But if you have three pallets of donuts here, or however many will fit in this spawn point, I don't know that yet. I'm gonna guess it's uh, three or maybe six, maybe more than that. Uh, either way, if you get one pallet or three pallets at your first production of donuts, you still need a additional 13 to complete stage two of the challenge. Now, the other thing I'm going to allow is you may farm the ground where your production plots are located. But you may only farm half of that ground. So our production plot here where our confectionery is, is on plot 21. And to cut 21 in half, we find the middle of it, which is pretty much dead center of the number 21 in your little PDA map there in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. So we are pretty much on that right now. So we'll just show you that here. I'll show you that this this way. Let's go up here. Landscape. Let's go to paint. And we'll do dirt here. Let's make that bigger so we can see it. So, that is your dividing line pretty much for this plot. You can, you can only farm the ground that is on this side of the plot. Now, you could do it the opposite way if you decide to put your confectionery on this side, then you could farm the ground on this side of the plot. You can only farm a half of your plot. The same thing goes for your plot over there at the uh, sugar mill. You can only farm half of that plot. So that is that that you are allowed to do. 
Now, if you want to make it more simple, instead of dividing the two plots in half, you may farm one of the plots and the entire plot, but you still have to have a production point on the plot. So, you may farm both sides, for instance, of plot 21, if you decide not to split the other plot in half. Or vice versa. Alright, so now we will drive up to the store and show you the end of this setup. Alright everybody, welcome back up here to the store. Well, the other thing we need to do now is you need to reduce your money down to $13,000 plus or minus $2,000 because we are here on console and it's difficult to get to the exact amount. I realize that for some people. So, the best way and quickest way to uh, do this is return lease and return a item or items in the store. So to reduce our money quickly, we're going to be using this John Deere Cotton Harvester. And we'll show you how this works. You just hit your square button here on PlayStation to lease that. Hit X for yes. And now it has deducted 43000 off of my total balance. And we do that again. And again, and again, and again. Until you have filled your store location full of cotton harvesters. And you have got your money down to 13000 plus or minus 2000 uh, so you also can reduce money with other items. I'm going to show you a couple of the good examples. This Massey Ferguson and Medium Tractors, the first Massey Ferguson and Medium Tractors, is worth six thousand if you need to deduct six thousand dollars and then small tractors if we go all the way almost to the end here we pick this linder lind track tractor here this is five thousand if you need to be in smaller increments once you get closer to 13,000. All right, I'm gonna jump cut this to getting the rest of the money to disappear. All right, so we have $13,567. Well, there is one more thing about this challenge, everybody. And if I missed anything else about this challenge, please pay attention to the description underneath the video. I will have all the details about the challenge in the description. On this map, there is 20 collectibles, and they are game cartridges. I'm going to show you where the first one you can have is. You might know where others are, but we'll show you one of them right now. It's right here. And you have 19 more game cartridges to collect. So now you have $63,567 to start this challenge, everybody. So we're going to hop in our mower here. So we have $63,567, everybody. Well, that's what you get to start the challenge with. And I hope you all have enjoyed... Uh, watching this and uh, have figured out what you need to do to start this challenge but you have a debt of two hundred fifty thousand dollars that we created at the beginning of this video 
So remember, stage one, you must pay off your debt, buy and place that sugar mill that we showed you, buy and place the donut shop confectionery that we showed you, and produce one pallet of donuts. And then you have the option of moving to stage two, which is producing 13 pallets of donuts to make a baker's dozen. But from myself here, everybody, I hope you will leave me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as a delicious donut. And don't forget to leave us a delicious comment as well as please share the videos and the streams with all your friends and family. But from myself here, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.